Hey everyone, Tio here. Today I'm reviewing the XP Pen marker. This is a relatively new product from XP Pen, the company that sells pen displays and pen tablets. So these markers are listed under the accessories page on XP Pen's website and disclaimer, these are provided by XP Pen for review purposes. Let me give you the bottom line up front. These markers perform really well. The quality is very similar to the more expensive Copic markers. These are alcohol markers. The colors are vibrant and they dry really quickly. The markers come with two tips, so you can get them with the chisel tip together with a brush tip or the bullet tip. The main downside for these markers is the same with other alcohol markers. The inks are made with dyes, so the inks are not light fast. They are going to fade when the colors are exposed to light for long periods of time. And with the XP Pen markers, these are not so individually, so if you run out of a specific color, you'll probably have to find the same color from some other brand to replace it because they don't sell these markers separately and they don't sell reviews. These are markers I can recommend very easily because the quality is good and the pricing is noticeably more affordable compared to more popular brands such as Copic and Shinhan. Let's look at the pricing. So these are in US dollars and these are the current prices at the time of making this review. The markers are sold in sets of 24, 36 and 80 and you can get them with the chisel tip together with the hard tip or a chisel tip together with a brush tip which is considered the soft tip. So for a set of 24 hard tip markers it's 25 US dollars so that works out to be around 1 US dollar for each marker. And for a set of 24 brush tip markers it's 40 US dollars so this brush tip markers are noticeably more expensive compared to the hard tip markers. The thing with markers is the more colors you buy, the more you have to spend obviously, but the average price of each marker will also come down. So it looks like the 36 color set is a good deal in the sense that you just have to pay $10 more for 12 more markers. And if you have the budget for 80 colors, each marker can be 70 cents for the bullet tip markers or $1.30 for the brush tip markers. So XP Pen sent me two sets of markers to check out. This set has the bullet tip and this set has the brush tip. Let's look at the back. This set has 24 colors. I'm not sure what's the color coding system used. So you can see the colors are represented by numbers. The gray colors have more info. WG is probably warm gray and CG is probably cool gray. The largest set from XP Pen has 80 colors and here you can see the numbers for the colors actually go beyond 80. This is the only color chart that I found online that has all the 80 colors but there are no names for the colors. Some of the colors are actually fluorescent and there are some metallic colors as well but you probably can't tell just by looking at the color swatches. Let's look at the markers. The markers come in plastic containers. There is this latch here which you have to unlatch. So this is the copper and there is a small handle at the top. This container is nice because there is some sort of holder at the bottom to hold the markers vertically. And these are the colors. The cap of the marker has the color code, the name of the marker, and the color itself. Having the markers vertical with the colors visible at the top makes it easy for you to pick the colors you want. The design of this marker looks very similar to the Copic sketch marker that I have here. The length is kind of similar and the thickness is the same. Both are oval at the top and I also have a Shinhan touch marker here so these markers um, are quite similar in size. These alcohol markers from XP Pen have two tips. This one here has the brush tip and on the other end it has the chisel tip. 
So this marker with the chisel and brush tip is considered the soft marker on XP Pen's website. The hard marker comes with the chisel tip and the bullet tip. This particular marker actually dried out in the box. I'm not sure why it dried out because the cap looks airtight to me. The cap can be posted behind and due to the oval design which has flat sides, this marker is not going to roll off the table that easily. Let's look at the lines the markers can create. The bullet point is good for writing, for drawing lines with uniform thickness and for drawing or adding details. Let's see if we can draw tapered strokes with this. Not really. On the other end, we have the chisel tip and this is great for covering large areas. And you can use the thinner ends for drawing thin lines as well. And now let's take a look at the brush tip. So this can be used to create tapered strokes. You can also draw thin and thick lines. If you tilt the marker low enough, you can draw broad strokes. But this marker also comes with the chisel tip, so you can just use the chisel tip to draw the broad strokes. The brush tip is definitely the more popular tip for artists. This can be used to draw details as well and can be used for calligraphy. I'm not that great with calligraphy. Let's see how the ink looks when you overlay the markers several times. The ink dries really fast. So these are alcohol markers, so there will be the usual alcohol marker smell. So as you overlay the markers, the colors will become deeper. So this is about as dark as this color can be compared to this single layer here. Let's see what we can get when I overlay this lemon yellow on top of pastel blue and royal blue. So this is how lemon yellow looks. This looks like yellow green and this looks like olive green, dark olive green. So you can mix the markers or overlay the markers to produce different colors for color mixing. Alcohol inks have a tendency to bleed through the paper, so there's a good chance you will see the ink on the opposite side of the page. This is actually marker paper that I'm using, but it's 70 GSM paper, so it's quite thin but the paper is treated to handle markers so it doesn't bleed onto the next piece of paper. And markers work best on smooth paper. So if you use markers on fine grain paper or paper with textures, those paper are going to soak up more ink and you will use up your markers much faster. All right, let me sketch something really quickly and color the drawing with these markers. The pen I'm using is the Pentel Stylo pen with water-soluble ink. I will be using this fountain pen as well with waterproof pigment ink and the paper is the Canson 70 GSM marker paper. So let's draw. For the hill in the background, I will be using the Pentel Stylo pen with water-soluble ink. Let me try this color, which is vermilion. This is nice. So the chisel tape is great for covering large areas. I can use the finer end to draw the small areas use this tip here to draw the lines. The chisel tip can actually do what the bullet point can do if you use it correctly. 
So the first color is vermilion and this is geranium. I just want to add some shadows to make certain areas darker. This color is baby skin pink. The names for the colors are not exactly representative of the actual color. Oh, this looks like a nice color. So as mentioned earlier, markers work best on smooth paper. This is skin white. So there are little symbols on the marker to show which is the chisel end and which is the brush end. And skin white looks um, like pink to me, very pale pink. Let's switch over to warm gray, WG05. I'm using, I'm still using the chisel tip. Okay, this gray looks very pale. Four of five. This gray looks very pale. I wish there is a darker gray. So if you want more colors, you will have to get the set with more colors. And this is a five as well, a cool gray, CG5. And see how much darker this gray is for five. This is great for painting or coloring shadows. Uh, let me just add some green. I want some yellow. This is lemon yellow. Let me add some yellow at the top for the green and here as well and here as well. This yellow is very vibrant, very nice. The ink flow is really good because, well, the markers are new. This is pale green. They have four greens in this particular set. Mixing colors with markers uh, for me is not that easy because I prefer to use watercolor. The thing with markers is if you want a color, uh, you have to buy that one marker for that color you want so you can end up with many markers and it can get quite costly which is why I switched from using markers to using watercolor because with 12 watercolors uh, with 12 colors in a watercolor set you can actually mix like a limit, limitless number of colors whereas with markers uh, you do have to have many colors okay let me just use this Create the darker values here at the bottom. This marker paper is actually pretty good. It's thin but it doesn't let the marker ink bleed onto the next piece of paper. I haven't used markers for a very long time even though I do have a lot of markers. I used to have Copic markers, like many colors, but I sold off most of the colors or gave away the colors and I'm left with just grays. Warm grays, cool grays, and neutral grays for the Copic markers. If I remember correctly, in one of the sets with more colors, they do include this colorless blender, which will help you blend the colors more easily. Let's try the brush tip. This is nice. This warm gray doesn't really do it for me. Maybe it has dried out, but it shouldn't be so pale. Anyway, when I run the marker on top of the pigment ink, you can see it doesn't smear or smudge the pigment ink. Okay, there is some smudging with the black ink here, but that's probably because the ink is not completely dry. Let me use some dry brush effect to create some texture. Let's see if I can make the green much darker by overlaying red on top of the green. It is darker now. 
and you can see the individual colors of the markers used to create this you can see green you can see yellow and you can see red for the water at the bottom let's have royal blue the quality of this marker um, is definitely comparable to Copic and Shinhan. Let's use the brush tip for some finer lines. I may also want to use my white gel pen or white Posca marker to create more highlights on the water. Let's have black for the windows. Maybe add some more texture with the pen. This Pentel Stylo Pen has an uncommon design for the felt tip. So the good thing about markers is you can work really fast because the ink dries really fast. The last thing I want to do is maybe add some pastel blue for the sky in the background. I'm not sure if it works. I think this is done. All right, to conclude, these are markers I can recommend easily because the quality is good and the pricing is very attractive. And these markers should be great for beginners starting out with markers because they are so much more affordable, relatively speaking, compared to other brands. As a beginner starting out with markers, you don't want to be in a situation where you spend too much money on markers only to find out that you are actually not a marker type of person. I recommend you get the brush tip set because the brush tip is more versatile. Alright, if you guys are interested to get these markers, you can check out the purchase links that I have for you in the video description below. I hope this review is useful. See you guys in the next video. Bye!